Alright, hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so as you guys can see, I've been adding some more videos to go along with the long saga related to my school um, of becoming a mental health counselor. And I'm definitely trying to be more consistent. This is kind of like going to be a video in between those videos. Um, I'm probably going to do that because there's so many videos that I probably have to do in order to cover really what happened with my school. And I just want to be as detailed as possible. So, so sorry. I know the last video I uploaded was like over an hour and I didn't even realize it until I went to upload it how long I actually made the video because it's those videos are really emotional for me like I don't think that most people understand that like making YouTube videos first of all it's not like stressful or anything like that but it's definitely taxing emotionally so I notice like after every video that I make related to this stuff that's with this school that I like my mood is completely different so if you notice like when I first started talking about um, my school you know trying to kick me out that I was like oh I'm gonna make all these videos in a row and then like I think the f between the video I just uploaded the other day and the one um, that first actually talked about the issues with my school I, I want to say it was like a month or two months I don't even like us being in quarantine listen I am horrible at keeping track of the days of the week I mean like I work so that's the only way that I keep on track but honestly it's like these months are flying by and it's crazy oh I'm about to sneeze and I don't want you to think it's Rona I swear it's not okay Anyways, um, so as you can tell, I'm laying down, um, it's at night, so, you know, it's not like the best look happening, if you know what I'm saying, but, um, I think it's really important that I let people know that these videos are stressful for me to make, and yes, like, it's my choice to make them, but I just feel like had I had seen somebody that really kind of exposed schools for the tactics that they do and the bullshit that they put students through, um, I think I would have felt a little bit more prepared for when it happened to me. So all I can hope is that the videos that I put out, um, you know, will help somebody. Um, you know, if you don't like the videos, you know, it's not for you. It's more so for me to relay my journey, not only to help others, but like a cleansing. So, yeah. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk about like in between the videos, like once I turn off the camera, what kind of happens? Because I know like it's really easy to watch people on YouTube and then draw your own opinions of who they are, what they went through, um what you think they should be doing versus what they're doing and you know just basically you get a whole different perception that's not really the complete picture and it's just based off of like however long the video is you know um and I just want to say like I I noticed that my mood is just like really downtrodden and I become very irritable I noticed that um, it's like being warped back to the, like those moments in time and I think it's important that people realize that anytime somebody comes for your character it's very traumatic and that when you talk about it um, it's almost like you're triggering yourself so that's really what I'm trying to say like I constantly feel like I'm triggering myself because Although I will read like the emails and talk about it and it's very like in your face brazen, you know what I'm saying? Like after I turn off the camera, I'm very like I become very depressed. Yeah. Um <clears throat> to the point where I'm just like, I don't want to make these videos, but 
I don't want anybody to uh, feel like they don't have somebody that's been through it too that they can't connect with because I know when I was going through the beginning of this process with this school like I was all over YouTube trying to find you know like what do I do the school's trying to come after me and there's really not too much out there like at all I mean that's one of the main reasons why I actually made my channel is because I noticed that although people talk about their college experiences and stuff like there's not a lot of like detailed videos that go into like really exposing these schools like with reading like having receipts you know what I'm saying like reading the emails um there will be a video where I'm definitely going to be playing um like a, a video with two of the professors from the school there's going to be a video where I'm playing the audio from the the hearings that I had like you know those are all things that obviously are going to open me up to people having judgments and opinions which I am totally fine with like that's not the part that gets me it's the part that like knowing that you're having to constantly prove yourself to people that really like who are you <laughs> like at the end of the day we pay these schools right and then they talk to us like we work for them but really it's reversed so i guess people really need to feel empowered and that's really what my videos are all about is like i want you to know like you're first of all you're not alone if this happened to you or like has happened to you that it really unless you've actually done something this like stone that they throw at you basically grenade it really should not define you but it will like it will um because a lot of people put on like this face like oh it doesn't whatever you know it doesn't hurt me or it's making me stronger like that's great but at the same time like you're human so it's okay to feel hurt it's okay to feel attacked it's okay to feel like you know your power is being taken um those are all real emotions and they shouldn't be emotions that you're embarrassed to have you know because at the end of the day your person and your you know who you are right so if somebody's trying to define you and it's completely different than who you are you're not going to set well with that you're not going to um let said person or people come and attack your character without putting up some type of defense mechanism like natural instincts will kick in you will defend yourself just the same as if you're a parent like you will defend your young so the same thing happens but what happens is when you're defending yourself is that you become exhausted when that process is forever long you know like I think a lot of people think you know they see the videos and they're like oh wow that must have been like a week no like when i tell you when you guys see how this plays out i we <laughs> i wish it was a week we're talking months and months and months of this like i feel defeated um i feel drained i feel like you know i made the wrong choice in school i made the wrong choice in a field i made the wrong choice in trusting people um, I feel very much like bait and switch. I feel deceived. And so when I make these videos and yeah, nobody's telling me to make these videos, but it's my choice and, um, I'm grown and I, you know, I can handle my emotions to the, you know, the most part. But the one thing I notice is that like, like it doesn't really help that we're in this pandemic because, like I'll just I definitely haven't been working out like I used to like I used to work out almost every morning like I would get up at like 5 30 in the morning go to the gym work out and be at work at 7 a.m and then my internship I would be there at uh 1 30 and so um I am <laughs> let's just say like i have got to drop this weight back off of me like it is just not a cute look but like i guess i'm gonna have to be winter cute because summer cute bruh 
<laughs> it's not happening. It's not. Um, I let's just say I'm definitely going to do a detox um, type fasting and I'm gonna vlog it um, because I think most people when we think about depression like there's many variations of what depression looks like right well like mine used to be like I wouldn't eat at all or like I would just disengage completely which I'm doing because of the pandemic so it kind of works but um I definitely have been eating um quarantine 15 plus so for me um I think it's really important that if I'm going to essentially work on my mental health I need to work on my physical health because I feel my best when my body is taken care of and then I feel like I'm able to concentrate on my mind because right now I feel like my brain's all over the place it really just is exhausting so I find myself sleeping a lot I find like um, with work since I am working from home it's it's very isolating which I'm not too sad about because being in the office is like so annoying but um, I definitely find myself getting like very irritated um, I don't know if you would define it as like hypersensitive but um, I just feel like I'm not myself and I feel like doing the videos kind of like brings about like stronger emotion emotions and you know I'll text like one of my friends or something and like it, it could be anything that they say and I'll be like triggered and I'll be like oh what does that mean you know like why are you acting like that and they're like why are you acting like that you know and so I think that the best thing I can do is obviously recognize that when I'm in that headspace that I need to make sure that I take the time to take care of myself before I bring about anybody else into um, a conversation with me because it's never gonna fare well. So, um, you know, I know this is kind of like an in-between video of the other videos, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a perspective of yeah, sometimes people can talk about emotional stuff on YouTube and you'll see people get like, you know, r really sensitive, cry, scream, yell, get anger, angry, whatever. And I don't really feel like I show that on my YouTube channel, but like I'm human, right? <laughs> so of course I have emotions outside of what you guys see. Um, and I just think that having an... <sighs> an audience that truly understands that you guys are watching the videos the same as I watch other videos so of course I know you have opinions and um, you know feel free to share them as long as it's respectable um, but just realize that at the end of the day like we're all humans and anybody that wants to attack somebody's character especially when you've paid them six grand or six figures <laughs> aka college is expensive when I have kids I will literally tell them do not go to college unless it's something like you want to become a doctor or a lawyer or something like that like there's other ways to make money and have your passions and combine the two with Without incurring not only the expenses because you know that's not always the case like if you scholarships grants or you work through college like I did and you know I still have debt but still um, you know I just think that it is traumatic to go through school on so many levels like I remember in my undergrad I just first of all I went to a pretty big high school it wasn't diverse at all like there was only a few black people truth be told and I know you guys are probably like where is she going with this but trust me it'll make sense um and I was like oh I want to go to a smaller college because I, I had like such a huge high school like my graduating class was almost like 400 people like it was insane so my whole thing about finding undergrad schools was like oh I want to go to a small college I didn't want to live 
on a campus anywhere because first of all I'm a germaphobe I don't like people like that in terms of like I don't want you in my space most people are not like super clean freaks like me like I'm the type of person that if I feel like my toilet or something is dirty which it like isn't but I'll feel like it is and I will get up to go clean it just randomly and like if you live on campus you can't do that right so I picked a smaller school and my undergrad school was like completely in the middle of like a small suburb so like a lot of people were from rural America and that was my first experience with um paying so much money and going to a racist college like when I tell you that there was only like a few black people on that campus I'm like yo why do I keep doing this to myself and then I did it with my grad school like take note don't be it don't be me okay because clearly my choices in education are horrible horrible um so although like this experience with my graduate school was very defeating i do feel like my experience is not only when i was in high school but in my undergrad and the discrimination that i experienced unfortunately but fortunately prepared me at least to have the strength to fight what was happening. Now there were several days where I was like crying so much and I just wanted to give up, crawl under my comforter and never talk to a single person ever again. And I still have those days. Like today I had like a whole list of things I was gonna do and I went for a short walk had some food and then slept for the most of the day why because i'm fucking depressed okay um and so i think the biggest thing is that do i need to get back in therapy absolutely do i trust therapist after what happened to me with my school to become a therapist absolutely not so i'm in the fucking middle where i'm like i know i need to reach out to somebody but at the same time it's like i have all these conversations that go in my head about the therapist that i worked with in my internship and the shit they would say about their um clients after they left like the level of two-facedness i'm like why would I why would I talk to you about anything it's like <laughs> I just I sometimes I'm like I don't even know what to do I don't because like I believe in the concept of therapy but do I believe in therapist and those are two separate things that I don't, I didn't really think about when I thought about this field. Um, it's defeating because I remember when I first did therapy. Now, if you guys have watched some of my older videos, like... I think I did a video where I talked about, I feel like I always say that, I think I did a video um, <laughs> where I talked about telehealth um, and my experience with that. Like I had to go through several therapists. I found one really great therapist that really helped me like within such a short period of time. Like I just remember feeling like so amazing that I was like, holy shit <laughs> like how is this even working in such a short period of time and then I had another therapist that was horrible so like one part of my brain is like I know it can help with the right professional you know but then I have this extremely multi-leveled disappointing which is like such a minute word for how I truly feel but just like um disgusting experience with this field as a whole that like holding on to that one little piece of like oh I had this little great experience it just it's not making me want to engage in therapy so 
I guess, you know, that's where I'm going to kind of just start doing the detoxing so I can at least get my body right. And hopefully, you know, I can start working on my mental health and then we'll kind of see from there if I feel like I'm strong enough to go to therapy. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably like, huh? But it's, um, it's me versus me right now, you know, and I feel like a lot of people get to this point and it's like sometimes it's hard to even convey it to other people because it's hard to express an emotion that is so multi-level that I feel like I'm all over the place. Um, so sorry if this was a ramble. Well, actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not going to apologize. Um, I just wanted to kind of let some steam out and let you guys know like if you're going through anything just embrace the emotions that you have because truth be told like when you embrace them and you don't run from them you're gonna feel so much better than if you act like everything's so great and cheery and wonderful and then it's like you're lying to yourself like i feel more authentic when i confront my own emotions and even if i don't feel like i can deal with them at least i can recognize them and that's a part of you know my own self-care and my own therapeutic process for myself is that i need to first recognize what's triggering me i need to work on the root of why those things trigger me and i need to start working on addressing them so they no longer trigger me so that's why i've been making these videos because of course i'm triggered like hell okay I'm triggered, but I continue to make them because I need to get them off my chest. So they've been like, it's been just like swirling all over my head and I'm, you know, at the point where I need to release it. It's like a teapot, right? And it's like boiling, boiling and the lid is about to pop and then it's like exploding with all this hot boiling water everywhere. Like that is how I feel like I need to get this off my chest I need to be able to say my say because I don't feel like I really am heard um when it comes to this school situation like definitely not with the school <laughs> um and I just feel like you know if I'm going to relay my experience I need to also relay the emotions around the experience because I know like in the videos it's been very much like this is what it is these are all the facts these are all my receipts I get that but then it's like it doesn't really show the emotion associated with it and basically what it's boiling down to is that I've lost hope in therapy yeah so um this is kind of a shorter video and um i hope you guys got something from it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will definitely make sure to continuously upload the events occurring with my school trying to kick me out um yeah let me know if you guys have any experience with not only just the school situation but like what's your overall feeling about you know therapy is there something that's occurred with a therapist that's made you doubt the whole process um let me know in the comment section i'm really curious to know because it's kind of weird having a video saying this knowing like what my channel is and what everything I've been talking about on this channel but at the same time if I didn't share this part of how I'm feeling it wouldn't be authentic either um you know not to say I will never um get back into trusting the field but I'll never trust it um completely and it's not like I trusted it completely before but um yeah it definitely will never be that blind eye type situation where i am not fully aware of who's around me and what's going on so with that being said i will see you guys in the next 
video. Bye guys.